Hello all my mystical family and friends. It's Mystical Lady here with your Gemini reading from today, the Harvest Full Moon in Virgo on the 17th of September. And we're going to be reading from the Moonology Oracle Cards. And it's Let the Moon Be Your Guide. So let's see what the messages are from the Oracle Cards today for my lovely Gemini Collective for mid-August 2020. What are the messages for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Jupiter. So a lot of movement is going to happen now that the planets all turn. North Node is out of Gemini. What a relief. And this is bringing in movement. Let's see what the Moon has for Gemini. What are the messages? Okay. And the messages that came today are full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Leo of significance here. And not letting pride get in the way of your happiness here. Full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. So resolution is coming into your life based on love. On a relationship here. And it's saying a need to not have pride. Say it like it is. Tell the truth. Use your divine wisdom. Use your knowledge. And it's going to bring in a resolution. You can have cancer in your chart or Leo. Now I pre-shuffled these cards. And what I'm seeing is that eight of swords here. A Gemini who's feeling stuck. Who's feeling trapped. Who's feeling there's no way out here. In an in a issue regarding love here. No communication is coming in here. Resolution is coming, Gemini. Let's see what your energy is. So the cards we're going to pull out first. This reading will not resonate with all my Geminis. But let's see what the energy is. Okay. Gemini, Page of Wands. You're coming up fiery. You're starting something new. A new fresh energy is here, Gemini. Page of Wands is a message coming in. It could be from a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I'm seeing Nine of Swords, Gemini. That's your energy. Okay, Six of Pentacles. And one more. Okay, Pisces, Hangman. So the situation is here, Gemini, that I see, is there was a very unequal give and take here in a relationship where there was no resolution, there was no communication, but I see a message is coming in. But in the past is what I'm seeing is there is an energy of you being in your head. This is sleepless nights. This is someone in your life that just couldn't make a sacrifice. There was no sacrifice being made here from this person. Okay, I'm seeing Pisces and I'm seeing your energy. There was an energy of someone here not giving in to this relationship, always being at a standstill, not communicating, not saying the truth. And there was a new start here that you could have taken. It was an energy of someone calling you out to play, page of wands, a youthful energy. But Gemini, I see an energy of you saying no, you cut it out. You're standing firm in your ground here. You're standing with your sword up to the ethers, up to the heavens. King of Swords is a clear thinking energy. It's a divine masculine energy. It's someone who's a leader. Someone who doesn't take any bullshit. Learned his lesson energy. Let's see, let's get some more card out. That Piscean energy is the kind of energy where someone needed to make a new perspective. A new perspective was needed on this situation that will bring in that resolution. Three of Wands, more fire energy. Something you were waiting on came in. You were waiting on a message or a call or a phone call. And this message came in. And it was a new beginning. It was starting off here. But what I see is, okay, communication's coming in.
Three of Wands is telling me this is your ships are coming in. Something that you were waiting on. And the Page of Wands was that divine timing. This was some, someone coming in to give you a message that, of starting a relationship, starting dating, starting something. Six of Wands confirming my Nine of Swords energy is telling me this person had the feeling of being on a high horse. Someone here that you saw that could have been up on a high horse energy. Someone that was popular in their community. And this person put you in the energy of being confused, indecisive. This person has you up in your head thinking, using a lot of energy, but there's no communication coming in here. The Empress with the Six of Pentacles is that Taurus energy. This is major arcana for the Empress. This is your energy, I feel. This is a mother energy, a mother figure. But Taurus is someone who's a mature feminine energy, divine feminine coming in. Yeah, and that's that earth chant. Pisces energy clarifying the queen of wands energy. This is a very fiery energy, fiery energy. She's noticed the queen of wands as the seducer, someone that could be in a relationship here that's not making a commitment, someone that's just out for the play. She's also very sexual. Her energy, she's very psychic, Queen of Wands. She's also very fiery. She takes action here. And the hangman is no action. It's being in suspense. It's not making any sacrifices here. So I feel someone in the past here that you could have been waiting on, someone that you were just friends, a friend-based relationship, something very casual, was not what you found to be worthy of because the empress knows her worth. She knows her self-values. She sits in that throne. She doesn't go chasing anyone. She certainly doesn't take breadcrumbs six of pentacles and the empress energy with the queen of wands is turning her head i see there was someone here that was hanging on to a third party someone had a mistress it was a mistress energy with the page of wands someone that liked to play and fool around someone that kind of had like a corvette if you look at this white stallion someone that had a nice car Someone that had it all together is what you seemed. And this person, many others looked up to this person. But this person had a lot of mistresses, a lot of people looking up to this person. Eight of Wands is communication coming in now. Someone wants to communicate here. This is messages, emails, texts. It also means travel. And it's four of wands. This is something that involves a relationship, a marriage, a commitment. Four of wands is 1111. It's divine blessings. And there's communication coming in from someone that sees a celebration. This is bringing in celebrations, bringing in that energy. Okay. Let's see what the energy is here for the person that my Gemini is with. Show us the, per my, the person for Gemini. Who's in their life? Tell us about them. What are they feeling? What are they thinking? What is going on for Gemini, the person in Gemini's life? What are they feeling? Who is the person in Gemini's life? This person's Ace of Pentacles. This is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This is a brand new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. Someone that wanted to start a relationship off with you but then somebody withdrew their energy. So I feel something coming in and out quickly. A relationship that came in that you had your heart set on, you were, you were waiting for, but this person with heavy Virgo energy pulled away. Someone that withdrew their energy and didn't communicate. They offered you an offer here to go out to see each other 
casual relationship. Let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is about. Will of Fortune. Destiny. So this person could, yeah, temperance. Okay, so what I'm getting is there's someone here that's destined. There's a destined soul connection here. Someone that's at a distance from you is coming in here wanting to offer you a new beginning. And with the Will of Fortune, this is that Jupiter Sagittarius energy. This is going to bring in good luck, good karma, a life cycle changing, destiny, a turning point. Temperance is the energy of alchemy, a healing. A great healing had to have taken place in this relationship for this person. This person's going through a healing. Yeah, now you have Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, Gemini. This person has a solid offer. They have love. There's a lot of love here. The cups are being balanced in your favor. Wow. Ace of Swords, clarifying that communication and that karma, justice. Number 11. So I'm seeing 111 here. Yes. I'm saying it two times. There are karmic soul agreements here in this connection with the devil card. This is telling me this is that Saturn energy. And there could be a contract here on your soul agreement that you have with this person. You could be coming up as a motherly figure here with the Empress card. I see that there was a separation, there was a divorce. With the, with the Justice card, this is telling me this is that Libra energy here. This is fairness. Bringing fairness. The angels are bringing in fairness. They're alchemizing. They're healing this energy with the energy of the temperance. This could be a twin flame. Someone's at a distance here. It's telling me that this person is gaining balance. This person is learning from their relationships, from their past, not to go to extremes. If there's something you've been waiting for, this person's been waiting for you. And you have three aces. You have the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups, and the ace of swords. The only ace that isn't here is the ace of wands. That passion, that drive to move forward. This person is coming in with true love. They truly want to start a new beginning here. This is the hand of God coming in. There's a date with destiny here, Gemini. I have major arcana with the aces here. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers. Show me what we need to see to clarify this reading from my Gemini Collective for mid-September 2020. Show me what we need to see for Gemini, for clarifiers. Yeah, Gemini, let's see. You can have a Sagittarius here, heavy Sagittarius, the Will of Fortune and the Temperance. Someone with Libra in their chart or Sag. I also have Pisces, I have Libra twice, I have Virgo, and I have Taurus. I feel you thought there was victory in this relationship, that this was going to go somewhere. This is something that you put your heart in, your dreams, your hopes. Let's clarify this page of wands and this three of wands for my Geminis. Yeah, I got nine of swords again, and I got seven of cups reversed, which is good. So seven of cups in the right position is that Pisces Neptune energy. Being in the fog, seeing things very cloudy, not seeing things clearly, being stuck in your head where there's no equal communication coming in. There's no resolution either here, is what I'm seeing with this person that you were involved with. Yeah, let's see something. Seven of Cups. 
in reverse. They're seeing clearly. Illusion tactics. There was a lot of illusion with this person. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. Queen of Pentacles and Four of Cups. Four of Cups is not really being interested in this. Not being interested in this person, but taking back your energy, Gemini, because now I have Queen of Pentacles here. And this is knowing your values, knowing your self-worth, that you are not giving in to this person. This person showing up as somebody that has the energy of being very much high horse, on a high horse kind of energy. Someone that plays a lot, a player kind of an energy is what I'm feeling. And it's like, no, you're not taking a risk. You're not taking a leap of faith on this person here. Queen of Pentacles knows her value. She knows her worth. She's very loyal. She's very honest, Queen of Pentacles. She's down to earth. Yeah. Let's see. What is the energy of the Empress? What is the energy? Tell me more. So Three of Swords. You went through a very big heartache, a painful separation here with this person. You decided to put an end to it hermit and you withdrew your energy from this person you were not going to take just breadcrumbs this person wasn't giving anything okay i have king of cups clarifying that hangman and the queen of wands and now i have a power couple okay queen of cups king of cups very much in your feelings here. This is your emotional body with the water energy. And this is coming up as, I'm seeing two people here, two queens, one king, someone not making a sacrifice, someone hanging on to two women here. Take it how it resonates, whether it's a male or a masculine. But within that home, okay, there was someone here that could have possibly been married. A couple that was married and hanging on to a mistress energy. Third party. And King of Cups is someone who masters their emotions. He also is not open. He doesn't open his heart here to just anyone. He doesn't, exp he doesn't let them know his feelings. He holds these feelings in. I'm feeling a kind of cold feeling coming in. Someone who refused to change. Someone who refused to make a sacrifice with the hangman energy. And the hangman is being in suspension. It's not making that sacrifice, but getting enlightened. He is getting enlightenment now. And there's a pause time here for him. But there is a decision here that this king wants to make. There's someone here that he sees long-term with. He sees building a home, building a foundation with this person. He sees someone here as marriage material. And that's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. And there is a healing. The Queen of Cups in this deck is drinking from the cup. She is getting the healings. Queen of Cups is someone that's in her emotions, could be an empath. I'm picking up very much energy of psychic abilities, empaths, someone that trusted their feelings about this, someone that knew there was something going on. It bring in a third party situation here. Okay. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Tell us about this Ace of Pentacles, please. Show us the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ace. There's Six of Wands again. Someone sees winning with you. There's a victory here that this person sees. This person wants victory with, yeah, there's a soul connection here. This has soul ties here, Gemini. Two of Cups. There's a soul agreement here. That someone is coming in to offer. 
and they want victory. Ten of Wands, they are releasing the burdens. There's something that needed to be released here with that hangman energy, making that sacrifice, surrendering something with the Ten of Wands. Okay, let's clarify this Hermit card. Tell us more about this Hermit card. Ten of Pentacles. So the energy, Gemini, here is clarifying on the Empress. The Empress is all about luxury. She's all about her home. She's all about the finer things in life. Ten of Pentacles. Someone that has children here. Motherly type here is what I'm picking up here. Someone that has a family, children. There's three generations here. This is bringing in wealth, happiness. Ten of Pentacles. Someone that created a kingdom and she would do it. The Empress creates that kingdom. And I see the energy of Gemini. You withdrawing your energy from this person and you putting, on, you putting your energy into your home, into your, your foundation. Moon card, because you knew there were secrets here. There was things that were hidden. This is the dreams that we dream at night. Your emotional center, you feeling this, you trusting in this. It created a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. Clarify this King of Cups for us, please. Clarify this King of Cups. So Gemini, I'm picking up on the Divine Feminine Energy as Queen of Pentacles here, Queen of Cups, the Empress, and the Queen of Wands here. I have all the queens except the Queen of Swords, Gemini. Yeah. Now this King of Cups, now he wants commitment. Now he wants long term. This is the High Priest energy. This is all about marriage commitment. Now he's wanting that. I see a Queen of Wands turning her head also on this King of Cups. This King of Cups wants long term marriage. He wants a commitment is what I'm seeing. It's like you put your you put your boundaries up. You set healthy boundaries here. And you said no. No to the player energy here. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you put a healthy boundary. You guarded this person. Seven of Wands. Yeah, the High Priestess. You trusted your intuition. You knew there was no inf no phone calls, no information. This person was always just giving, giving, giving somewhere else, and you were not getting. You were not getting. You were getting illusions. You were not getting commitment from this person. This person was just playing around casually with you, Gemini, and now you put your boundaries up, and you're like, no, I'm not interested in that. But there are, I see a soul agreement here. And now I have judgment underneath there and there's that ace of wands. There is a, there's a chance here that this person's coming back from the past judgment with Saturn, okay? The judgment is this Pluto Saturn that's been taking place all summer. And this is the energy now where someone here is thinking about you. And there's someone here that could be possibly coming back, ace of wands energy. This person has deep regrets over you. They see you as the healing person that brings in healing to them. They see you as matching their energy. You're the motherly type. You're loyal. You're very healing. You're very much that grounded energy of motherly, protecting of the home, building a home environment. And this energy here is coming back where the ball will be in your court, Gemini. Yeah, judgment. Something that you thought was over and done. There's a start over here. A possible reunion is what I'm seeing with this person. Two of Cups energy. Yeah. With all the major arcana here, there is a strong, strong soul agreement that's on my table. Possible twin flame. First card out was full moon in Cancer. Now that's that Cancer energy. You can have Cancer in your chart, Gemini. And it's saying this personal issue resolves, reaches resolution. You will have the clarity that you need. 
first wow make the effort it's saying great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship yep someone here had a third party someone could have been married someone had a mistress energy soulmate twice yes this is your soulmate you have a soul connection here with this person And there is a healing taking place right now. It says, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel that's this person. This person's coming in to, re to bring you truth. There's communication coming in now with the Ace of Swords here. And the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. This person's coming in with a loyal, honest offer. And they want to Ten of Wands. They want to surrender the past. They want to put an end to the heavy burdens. And it's saying, yes, there is a codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person has obsessions. There's a lot of obsessions with that devil card energy coming up. Honeymoon, it's saying, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah. I do have four of wands here, marriage and honeymoon. And I have the high priest. Okay. There is someone here that's taking love to a, never, a, a higher level. There is an energy of someone coming in here that wants, that has all new aces in their hands all new here and it's the will of fortune bringing in good luck good fortune a date with destiny gemini but there is a soulmate connection here that you have a very strong bond a bond a strong bond with it's a codependency someone just can't get they cannot someone can get you out of their heart and their minds here and there is a balancing of scales here that's being done so that is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit a like and subscribe. And we'll catch you later for the October readings coming up shortly. Have a wonderful September, Gemini. Bye.